uh, just a little wrap up of traveling around the state. Uh, tonight's the last stops for uh, 10 stops that we made around the state. Uh, great to finish up here tonight. Uh, had a great meeting upstairs, uh, listened to some of the concerns in St. Louis, in the St. Louis region, all, all the way from job creation to infrastructure to crime uh, to, to other issues facing this community. So it was a good meeting there. Good meeting across the state of Missouri. One of the things that we're finding out that we hear no matter where you're at, whether it's in southwest Missouri, southeast Missouri, Kansas City, or St. Louis, uh, two of the things that keep popping up as the most important things people are facing is infrastructure, uh, is going to be one of the main issues, and uh, workforce development, skilled jobs. Uh, that's the thing I hear over and over where I go. Those are two of the things that we really aim to really step up the game a little bit at the governor's office and see how we can push both of those forward. Uh, to make Missouri better to do those. So. What sort of things could the state do in that regard? Well, I think one, we're going to have a chance to do something on the infrastructure on the ballot in November. So I think it's important that we get ready for that. We make sure that people are aware of what that means, uh, how we're going to do that as far as the fuel tax goes, and whether they want to vote it or not, but vote for it or not. But I think it's so important that we move forward on infrastructure. I don't. I, we just can't keep kicking the can down the road and expect any different result. And it really does matter how we move forward as a state. Uh, to do that. So I, I think we're going to be working hard on that. Ellie, Ellie, you have a question? Yeah, Governor, uh, the uh, uh, MODA forced the city of St. Louis to take down right. its uh, cameras that were used to help stop crime. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, well, first of all, I would like to have a meeting with MoDOT. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. And then I've been a huge supporter of law enforcement. And anything we're doing, as we well know in the state of Missouri, to deter crime, we need to be taking a real serious look and make sure we're getting that done. So. I'm not sure of that. I have a, a, a general counsel coming on board tomorrow that was one of the first things we're going to have him look at. Uh, but needless to say, if there's any way to keep them up and if we're really taking criminals off the street, it, it's a little bit uh, no reason why we're doing that. So I'm anxious to have that meeting uh, to show my concerns as the governor of the state of Missouri, why we would be doing that and where that advice come from to take them down. Could you reverse, could you reverse their decision? Allison has a question. Well, I'm sorry. Could you reverse that? The, could you end up reversing the decision? Well, I think we need to meet, and I need to talk to general counsel before I make a decision. Governor, I'm Thanks, wondering sir. if you could bring me up to date on your thinking involving the Marcellus Williams case. Right. Well, the, you know, the, re board, the review board canceled uh, last week to, to make that decision or to talk about that decision. We need to wait till that happens uh, to see what they're going to do and what their recommendations are, and then we'll decide how we're going to handle that situation. And also, I think that's something our general counsel needs to take a look at. I just need to understand this. I'm, I'm sorry, I was a little confused. I know the board was camping. Right. Will they meet? Will they make a recommendation to you? And what will you do then? I would assume they would. I, I mean, as far as I know, they have. I've not heard they're not going to. So I think once they make that recommendation, if they do meet, then we'll discuss that at the time. And we'll go through general counsel and see where I'm at. So the board being canceled isn't a permanent thing? It's a temporary thing? Yeah, not that I'm aware of. We didn't cancel the board. We didn't cancel the meeting. Uh, my understanding is they canceled the meeting. Now, um, there's two things. First, the your school board appointments. Um, do you, are they going to have to wait to be confirmed next session? Are you hoping to get into that with the veto session somehow? And what sort of message were you hoping to send with making these school board appointments? Yeah, so right, right now, it was crucial to me to get the school board up and going. There's a lot of decisions <laughs> need to be made out there for five months. We haven't been able to make any. So really, those two that we placed on there both have a lot of experience, both have a lot of knowledge of the education in the state of Missouri. So those two was important to get it up and going. Uh, I don't know that we'll do that at veto session. We're still talking about appointments during that time, but for right now, it was important for me to get that board up and going. Now, okay, one more with, question. What's happening with Lieutenant Governor? Is there going to be a special session for the Lieutenant Governor appointment? You know, we're looking into the, the possibilities how we're going to handle the Lieutenant Governor's race. Uh, I've been pretty open about that. I think it's an important position for the state to have. Uh, we've seen what happened in the last 11 days. Uh, we never know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I think having the lieutenant governor in place and utilizing those services, he serves on a lot of boards, a lot of commissions that are important, and, and I've seen that in my own short career as lieutenant governor, so governor, I think it's important to have a lieutenant governor. Okay, thank you very much.